how kind of a cloudy day out. I figure more people be playing in golf. Don't see anyone. Oh well, I guess I'll go for the day. Dr. Romano, I didn't know you were out. You gonna get ready to play golf? Hit a few balls? Actually, I hate golf. Why don't we hit some balls and we play some hardball organic chemistry? So come over here. Cash out, your mind. I never know where you're going to pop up. I got a up. lot of questions on what we call a sawhorse. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a secondary alkyl halide with sodium methoxide and ethanol, and we're going to do an E2 reaction on this. Now, I think the best way to do a problem um, when you're given a sawhorse is to convert it into a Newman. And that's the hard part. Now, what I like to do is stand to the left of the molecule. Now, if you stand to the left of this molecule, um, you can see that the bromine is going up. So I'm going to call this the front. So there's the front and there's the back. So if I'm standing here to the left of the molecule, bromine is going up. Now, here's where it gets tricky. This means going out of the page, and this means going into the page. So if this is going out of the page, if you just thought about it, it would be going to the right. And if this is going behind the blackboard, it would be going to the left. And that's the hard part. So as long as you can see that, the rest of this is going to be easy. So the bromine's up. That's obvious. But if it's coming out of the board, and if you build a model, you can easily see it going to the right. Dash, this is going to the left. Now, if you go to this side, the methyl is clearly going down. And now the hydrogen has a wedge on it. It's in the same direction as the methyl group. So therefore, I put the hydrogen on the same side of the methyl. This is a dash. The ethyl is on the si same side as the hydrogen. That's the hard part. The rest is easy. The E2 necessitates anti-periplane departure. That means, and I labeled the two groups that are going to be leaving. The bromine and the hydrogen have got to be anti in English, it means 180 degrees. So if we rotate the back just a tad bit to get the bromine and the hydrogen anti, that would mean the H would go here, the methyl will go here, and the ethyl will go here, just by a little rotation. And now we're in perfect shape to be able to see this. If this leaves and this leaves, let them leave and you would get this. And that's obvious. Now, this doesn't look so pretty. If you looked at this, this looks like a guy with a goddamn mustache. So what I'm going to do is convert this form into something that looks a little prettier. So watch. This carbon here is the front. Let's call that where we were originally standing. It's got a hydrogen on it and a methyl. And there it is, a hydrogen and a methyl. The back carbon, which will be the right carbon, notice the methyls are on opposite sides. So you put it opposite. And then the hydrogen and the ethyl are on opposite sides. And there you go. And as you can see, if you look at these two groups, this has the higher priority. So I put a check mark. This and this, this has the higher priority. That would be, sorry, that would be this. So if we see that the two groups of highest priority are on the same side, it means the alkene is a Z. So we would end up with a Z configuration. I hope that helps um, on how to do the infamous sawhorse. Sawhorse is a little harder because, as I said, you got to convert the sawhorse often into the Newman to really be able to see the anti periplanar E2 departure. All right, I hope this helps, and I'll see you in study group. Good day to you. Hey, Dr. Romano, have a golf cart. Want to take a spin Go around? Go golf. Good day to you. Bye-bye. Good day to you, sir. I'm going off to have fun. Leave you to your orgo. Bye-bye.